Osteoporosis is also sometimes referred to as brittle bone disease. It affects millions of people in the UK, more women than men, and that's mainly because women start with smaller skeletons. But it may surprise you to learn that we build up our bone density into our mid-twenties, we then plateau off, and by our mid-thirties, our skeleton starts to thin. Women are particularly at risk because after the menopause, we lose estrogen and our bones thin much more rapidly. Patients often tell me that they think they must be fine because they have no aches and pains. So the truth of the matter is with osteoporosis that actually you may have no symptoms whatsoever until the bones become so thin that they break in minor injuries. Either a trip where you might break a wrist or a hip, or sometimes the vertebrae in the spine simply crumble with the weight of the body. The good news is that there's lots you can do to help protect your skeleton. Bones need to be stressed to be strong, so it's important that you take regular weight-bearing exercise, and by that I mean running, jogging, dancing. It's also important to maintain a healthy body weight, with a body mass index between 18.5 and 25. Being too thin is a particular risk factor for osteoporosis. You need to look at your diet, and a diet rich in calcium will help protect your bones. Smoking is bad for your bones, so give that up, and make sure that you don't drink alcohol beyond recommended limits, as drinking to excess will also thin your bones. Caffeine and fizzy drinks can also leach minerals from the bones, so watch your intake of those. We diagnose osteoporosis with a special scan called a DEXA scan. And if you're diagnosed, your GP will want to talk to you about all the lifestyle factors that you can adopt to protect your skeleton. You may also be prescribed drugs called bisphosphonates, which work by increasing the density of the bone. You'll be asked to attend for repeat DEXA scans probably every other year. For more information on osteoporosis, visit the National Osteoporosis Society on nos.org.uk.